The human brain, like any other part of the body, changes as we age. Cognition, which is our ability to think, reason, and remember, generally declines as we get older. But no two people are alike, so there is a lot of variability in this. Trying to find the patterns in this variability is something we have focused on at the Geriatric Medicine Research Unit. Researchers here use something called multi-state transition models. These models allow us to study patterns of change in any condition or phenomenon. For example, the cognition of people with Alzheimer's disease. The models can capture change in all directions. Stability, decline, and even improvement. And they allow all the factors that may be influencing changes to be studied as well. We are especially interested in patterns of improvement in cognition and which factors may influence this. Using a multi-state transition model, we examined data from over 8,000 Canadians and discovered a link between exercise and cognition. We found that in people with Alzheimer's disease, exercise was not only good for them, but an important factor in improving their cognition. And for those who did not have Alzheimer's disease, Exercise is an important preventative factor in maintaining cognitive abilities. Another interesting result of our work was to debunk a common paradox. Exercise helps you to live longer, but the longer you live, the greater the chance you will develop Alzheimer's disease. However, our work has shown that people who exercise regularly do live longer, but are also less likely to develop Alzheimer's disease. Our work with these models is ongoing, with research being carried out to better understand patterns in things such as frailty in elderly people. For more information about this or any other work at the Geriatric Medicine Research Unit, go to the link on your screen.